I was introduced to the Anacostia Museum in 2003. My cousin, Mrs. Lucille Thompson Davis and I presented a piece of American history to the museum in the form of a slave diary written by a slave, my great great grandfather, Adam Francis Plummer. Adam Plummer was 22 years old and on May 30th, 1841, when he was married to Emily Saunders, he took a ledger book that he had found in the storehouse at Riversdale, had never been used, and he made his first entry in that book saying, on this 30th day of May, 1841, I was married to Emily Saunders, daughter of Richard Saunders of Three Sisters Plantation. And he started making entries in that book from that day, and he kept that book until he died on December 13, 1905, at the age of 86. We are in the visitor's center of the Riversdale House Museum, uh, which was built in 1803 by Henry Steers and his family from Belgium. They had come to America. And he and Emily had nine children, one of which died in, in, as a baby. Eight lived to their majority. His youngest daughter was Nellie Arnold Plummer, who became a school teacher and taught not only in Prince George's County, in Charles County, Maryland, but also in the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., with a teaching career of over 45 years. When her father died in 1905, she took her father's diary and began to read it and recall some of the stories that he had mentioned in his diary. And she went through and checked his spelling and corrected his spelling of words that he had misspelled. She also used the margins in the diary to write anecdotes about things that he had talked about on that particular page and bring some life to those stories that he was telling. In 1927, she finished writing her own book based on her father's diary, which she named out of the depths or the triumph of the cross. She mortgaged the Plummer property to $1,000 to pay for the publishing of that book. And when that book was published, she made sure that every member in the Plummer family had a copy in their home. But I am thankful. I have been reading and studying my family's history since I was seven years old. And every time I pick up out of the depths on the triumph of the cross, I find something new that I may have forgotten or don't, didn't realize before. And it has blessed me, and I've been able to use it to bless others. And so what we have, is far greater than any monetary riches. What we have is the fact and knowledge that this world is blessed by the records of a slave who had no idea what he was doing when he started writing his diary and the impact it would make on the world. So 
I am very thankful for the support that we've gotten from the museum and from the directors and all of those who have uh, labored with us through the years. And to be able to be a part of this momentous celebration means so much to us, the former family. Thank you. I am L. Jerome Fowler. I'm a seventh generation plumber. I'm a descendant of Cupid and Millie Plummer who were slaves on the plumber farm. 